Hey everybody. So, this is the second day of May, so we are well into our push-up contest here, day two. So if you haven't already heard about it, we're doing a push-up challenge. This one does have prizes. So you'll be doing 500 or 1,000 push-ups in the month of May. You have the whole month to get it done. And then if you do it, you will get entered into a raffle. So you're not winning the prizes by being the push-up champion. You're just participating to enter into our raffle. And then we will give away two prizes, either one of these bags. One is the King Kong backpack, the Annie Thor's daughter signature backpack, or the Annie Thor's daughter signature duffel. These are both gym bags, both designed for gym folks like yourselves. So we will uh, be giving those away. Get your push-ups in and start making your Instagram or Facebook posts tagging us and using the right hashtags and you will be entered into the contest. Let's take a look at today's workout. Today we are doing 50 push-ups for time for the skill. It sounds simple on paper. It is. It's only 50. But for some of us, that's nothing. For some of us, that's a, that's a lot. If it is uh, and you need to scale the reps, go ahead and do that. But also the other option is to scale to your knees. So let's take a look at these uh, push-ups here. We have the regular push-up, which is what we're RXing this as. That's going to be on your feet and your hands, elbows extended. Drop your chest to the floor. You do need to make full contact with the floor at your chest. That's a real push-up, not a baby push-up. And then lock out the elbows all the way up at the top. Don't let your legs touch the floor at all if your thighs are touching the floor. It's time to go to your knees and work that position. Get better at it, and then you'll be the push-up champion by the end of May. If we are going to the knees, obviously it's the same thing, but we're on the knees. Same full range of motion, chest to the floor, elbows fully extended. And keep those elbows close to your body, nice and tight. Protect your shoulders. That's that, 50 push-ups for time. And then the wad, just the black today, is 12.1, which means it was in 2012 the first open workout in the CrossFit Games Open. It sounds very simple on paper. It is seven minutes, as many reps as possible, of burpees to a target. The target will be six inches above your outstretched hand. So if you reach your arm straight up over your head when you're standing up and your elbow is extended, six inches from the top of your fingertips to a target. That could be anything, uh, you know, a ceiling if it needs to be, door jam, whatever it is. If you can't find a target that exactly works, just figure out something that is close to six inches. If you really can't do a target, then do it without a target. It's still plenty hard seven minutes of burpees and that's all it is we're going to do the burpee for seven minutes count our reps and see how you do i've done this workout a handful of times in my life it is really tough if you take it seriously if you just move for seven minutes and we'll see where your scores are at the end take a look at the burpee here we're standing up drop your chest to the floor chest must touch the floor then jump back or step back to your feet nice wide stable stance jump and get your hands over your head. Normally we jump and clap like I do here in this video, but with the target we are jumping and both hands must touch that target. Um, and once again, your hips and knees get extended, but with reaching for a target, that'll most likely happen no matter what. And that's our workout. Let's log our scores on Beyond the Whiteboard. Start getting those push-ups in on your Instagram and Facebook posts and let's uh, win some prizes here. If you have any questions about anything, let me know.